Shadows in the Rain, Episode 4, Unmasking the Truth. Vincent's death left me with more questions than answers, but I wasn't about to let this trail go cold. There had to be something, some clue he had left behind. Cunningham smokes a cigarette and reviews Vincent's poker chips from the game. His eyes narrow as he notices something odd about one of the chips. He picks it up, examining it closely, and finds a small engraving on the edge, Leo's Garage. Leo's Garage, a known hideout for the city's less than savory characters. If Vincent was involved, maybe Leo knew something. Cunningham stands outside a rundown garage on the outskirts of the city. The neon sign flickers, barely illuminating the decrepit building. He takes a deep breath and heads inside. The garage is cluttered with old car parts and tools. Leo, a burly man with grease-stained hands, stands at a workbench, tinkering with an engine. He looks up as Cunningham enters, suspicion filled his eyes. Can I help you? I'm looking for information about James Hart. Word is, you might know something. Leo narrows his eyes, his posture shifting defensively. I'm nobody, James Hart. You must have the wrong place. Cunningham steps closer, his voice low and threatening. Don't play dumb with me, Leo. Vincent left me a clue pointing right here. Now you're going to tell me what you know or things are going to get real ugly. Leo glares at Cunningham, but there's a hint of fear in his eyes. Cunningham grabs Leo by the collar, slamming him against the workbench. I told you, I don't know nothing. Cunningham, eyes cold and determined, slams Leo's head onto the workbench, causing him to cry out in pain. Blood trickles from Leo's nose. Talk, Leo, now. I swear, I don't. Cunningham punches Leo in the gut, making him double over in agony. Leo gasps for breath his face contorted in pain. Last chance, Leo. Where's Hart? Leo, wheezing, looks up at Cunningham with desperation in his eyes. Start talking, now. He was poking around where he shouldn't have. Found something about a big deal going down. People with serious power. Political power. They got scared. Wanted him silenced. Who's behind it? I don't know names, I swear. I used to work for one of them, but he never said his name. Hell, I never even met the guy. He always just mailed me my jobs. I did some, what you might call, under-the-table jobs. Trust me, detective. You don't want to mess with these people. But there is a meeting tonight at an old warehouse down by the docks. They might be there. Cunningham shoves Leo back, releasing him. If you're lying, I'll be back, and you won't like the second visit. Leo nods vigorously, fear evident in his eyes. Cunningham turns and leaves the garage, determination etched in his face. Cunningham stands in the shadows, watching the entrance of the decrepit warehouse. He checks his watch, 11.45 p.m. The area is deserted, except for a few dim lights coming from the warehouse. The docks, the perfect place for a secret meeting. If Hart's still alive, this is where I'll find my answers. Cunningham moves silently towards the warehouse, slipping through a side door. He creeps through the darkened halls, following the faint sounds of voices. Cunningham peeks around a corner, spotting a group of men gathered around a table, discussing in hushed tones. He recognizes one of them from a photo on his desk. James Hart. Hart. Alive and in the middle of something big. This was my chance. Cunningham steps into the open, drawing his gun. All right, gentlemen, party's over. Hart, you're coming with me. The men scatter, but Hart freezes, his eyes wide with fear. Cunningham grabs Hart by the arm, pulling him towards the exit. Cunningham, you don't understand. They'll kill me. Not if I get you out of here first. Let's move. Cunningham and Hart emerge from the warehouse, heading towards Cunningham's car. Cunningham and Hart hop in and head to a nearby safe house. Hart had the answers I needed, but getting them would be another battle. 
The city's shadows were closing in, and it was time to shine a light in every dark corner. Cunningham and Hart sit in a dimly lit room. Cunningham pours Hart a glass of water, his eyes never leaving him. Start talking, Hart. What did you find out? Okay, okay. I uncovered a money laundering scheme involving some of the city's most powerful figures. Politicians, businessmen, even law enforcement. They're all in on it. Names, Hart. I need names. I don't have all of them, but I know one for sure. Mayor Thompson. He's the ringleader. He's been using his position to cover up their tracks, keeping everything under wraps. If he is taken down, the whole operation will fall. Mayor Thompson. That son of a... This goes higher than I even thought. It's not just him. There are others, but I need protection cutting him. They'll kill me if they find out I talked. You'll get your protection, but I need every detail you have. Every name, every connection. We're taking this whole operation down. Hart nods, a look of relief washing over his face. Cunningham leans back, his mind racing with the implication of Hart's revelation. A money laundering scheme involving the city's elites. This was bigger than I had imagined. But now, I had a name, a lead. And I wasn't stopping until every last one of them was brought to justice.